Talking BYU women's basketball, Amanda Wayman. Welcome up, Amanda? to North it's Las so Vegas. It's so good to be here. I'm really happy. You can tell you're really happy. Yeah. We are too. It's The weather's amazing. I know. Yeah. Nothing well, to complain about. And we asked you during the break, you know, what's the best part? Oh, it's not cold. It's not rainy. <laughs> yeah. Sunshine. It's fantastic. And there are thousands of BYU fans mm -hmm. everywhere telling you how great you are. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> Who yeah. doesn't want to do that? Exactly. Yeah. Easy what's, job. What's this experience like? Because uh, we're outside of Utah, yet there are thousands of people here to come uh, see BYU. It's kind of shocking to see that, like, yeah, we're not in Utah, but so many people are, like, everywhere are BYU fans. And I, it's kind of amazing to see. We joke probably, you know, a little bit too much with Jeff Judkins, your head basketball coach. <laughs> no, it's a fair amount. <laughs> but he kind of does it to himself, right? Yeah, you know he does. He does. <laughs> so there's this ongoing joke that he butchers everyone's name. Has he ever butchered your name? Okay, he doesn't know my last name's Waymont. He calls me Waymeth. <laughs> <laughs> No, and then one time he called me Mandy, and I look at the assistant coaches, and I'm like, Mandy. Like, I was, like, choking. Like, it was terrible. Weymouth. Weymouth. Amanda Weymouth. Just, just like yeah. Kathy Broadhead. Oh. Amanda, Amanda Weymouth. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. And uh, which, what does he call Chalet Salmon? Well, I don't even I don't even know if she knows her name, like the New Zealand <laughs> girl. Like. There were two though. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah. We Ka love him. Kalani we love Purcell him. signed with the Dallas Wings, which is very cool for the program, mm -hmm. have a player in the WNBA. I know Aaron Thorne was around here, she played in the yeah. WNBA. What does it mean to the program to have Kalani in the WNBA? It shows that like we have players that can compete anywhere, either we're East Coast, West Coast, and it's just a compliment to our program that our coaches recruit good players and everything. Okay, so you and Cassie Broadhead are returning seniors. Crazy to think yeah. about that, you know? Yeah. The top two returning scores, what is that feeling like knowing that, hey, you're going to be looked to as the co-leaders of next year's team? It's kind of overwhelming to see that, like, there's going to be so many open shots and, like, someone's going to have to take those. But it's kind of nice to have that role and, like, be looked up by the whole team that way. I think Amanda Weymouth can handle it. Like, she it. is ready, but, right? But for that. not Amanda Wayman. Wayman's, no. Wayman's working on Still it. Still to be like determined. The summer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. You, I don't know if you knew this. I just randomly, you made the exact same amount of, amount of shots this year as the year before. Did you try and do that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did. Mission accomplished. <laughs> 59 <laughs> shots. Let's try and exactly. make it one more. One more yeah, at least so for si your senior 60 year. plus okay. this next year? Yeah. We're going to double that. You're going to take a lot more shots. Yeah. Double the makes? Yeah. Yeah. Double the makes. Hey, wh why not? So be what are we saying? 118? 118 is that the number? Yeah, yeah. makes. Okay, six, I like that. 62.8 percent from the field. That's impressive. Well, you need to remember, I'm literally shooting layups. So <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it, Amanda. I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> Just <laughs> focus on the 62.8 percent. Who cares yeah. how you? Got are you going to take jump shots this, this year? Yeah, that's definitely one part of my game throughout the summer. I'm working on is getting the outside shot because I won't be playing center anymore. Like, I won't be undersized. I'll be on the outside which will be fun. BYU women's basketball specifically has had some really memorable and meaningful things happen in the city of Las Vegas, mostly at the West Coast Conference Tournament, right? Yeah. I mean, upsetting teams, buzzer beaters, oh. things like that. What's your favorite BYU memory? Maybe it doesn't come from women's basketball. What's your favorite BYU memory in the city of Las Vegas? Oh, okay, the, this year when we played San Diego and we were down by like 21 to like four. Yes. And Cassie hit the buzzer beater to go to overtime and then we won that that was so awesome and then I remember my freshman year when we beat St. Mary's and Gonzaga and then won the whole conference tournament that was really awesome that was very exciting I remember mm -hmm. that at the uh, tournament here uh, those were on BYU TV of course yeah we remember those okay we we made we made funny uh Juddy but what's your favorite Juddyism? what does he say oh. that so we can make fun of him some more Okay, I a lot of people don't remember this one, but I was a freshman, and one of the girls that was on the team, Savannah, she like didn't really set a screen on the guy on the wing, and so he stopped the whole practice. He's like, Savannah, you need to go screen her like it's a happy birthday party. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> what, what does that mean? I, you know, what did they all mean? That's... <laughs> <laughs> I feel so like funny. Jeff Judkins is the new Jack Handy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of the book Jack Handy, you know. 
Jeff. Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy is the name of the book. I, I, I think we need to make a book. We yeah. love Juddy, but the thing yeah. is, all Juddy of these things them. make him super endearing to BYU fans. Mm -hmm. They it's love him. It's great to have a guy that's defected from Cuba. I mean, Utah. <laughs> it's great to have a guy that played for the Celtics, that played in the NBA. He knows what he's doing, yeah. and that's the great thing. You get, we give him a hard time. He's a good coach, mm -hmm. and you guys win a lot. Yeah. What's your favorite aspect of Jeff Judkins as the head coach, though? Um, I like how he just, like, kind of tells the truth. Like, he doesn't, like, sugarcoat it. He just puts it right on the table, and that's kind of nice to not have to, like, find out the code, like, what he's saying. Like, mm. like some coaches are like that. What does he really mean? Yeah. <laughs> Is he just trying to be nice? No, he'll just say it to you. Weymouth! Weymouth! Get the Judah! Judah! <laughs> Amanda, it's great to talk to you. Congratulations on another successful year with BYU women's basketball. And 60 you. plus. You're a senior. Max. Big you time. You said, okay, yeah, yeah, 60 plus. You're, you're going for double, double yeah, but 118. We're, <laughs> we're going to set it at one more than 59. Okay. You okay. know, you do what you want. Okay. Keep the 60% shooting and you're in all business, right? right? right. It's amazing. It yeah. Okay, Amanda, thanks for the time. Thank you.